This is Mary at the Mary Atier, and it is Sunday evening, Halloween. They're going to go trick-or-treating on Halloween night, October 31st. Let me get into my videos here, and welcome to my setup here. <laughs> welcome to my setup. Uh, the lighting is going to be just a little bit different because... I am seated out by the door just in case whoops I gotta move it more this way just in case we have trick-or-treaters and you're gonna see a little bit of a gap here because that's the space between the chair and the TV tray that I'm using and I can't move it anymore so my camera is on a gooseneck camera stand I've got a light shining down this way, but my lighting is not the best. So let me welcome folks in. Hi, Mina. Happy Halloween, Rhonda. Happy Boo Day. Look at all those ghosties. Ghosty, 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 ghosty. <laughs> Happy Halloween. Happy Boo Day. Well, I'm going to sit here. I'm going to do two things. First of all, I'm going to work on binding my November journal. Uh, if you remember, I put masking tape on all of this, but I decided, I decided I did not want this as the back cover. Well, I want a different back cover. This is the second to last page of the back cover. So let me take this string off. I'm going to sit here tonight and bind this journal because it's something I can do while I'm seated at the TV tray. Hi Linda! Happy Halloween Linda! The lighting is fine. Well, I've got a little bit of a shadow over here but let's see if I can adjust my light here a little more. No. It's pretty precarious. Now I think I made it worse. Uh, well, it is what it is. So, we'll sit here and wait for folks to come in. I put masking tape on these pages in the hopes that it will strengthen them enough that they won't tear we are hoping but i was going to use this as my back page and i think i'm going to take all of this off or i'll just put that aside what i'm going to use instead is these and this is going to be for my november journal and i want to bind it with this oh and mary didn't bring in her double-sided tape I have to go get my double-sided tape. This is kind of a fall fabric. Look at that while I run in here. I've been working on organizing my room today. I've been working pretty hard on it. Double-sided tape, double-sided tape. Get out a couple rolls here just in case. Just in case I need it. Now I'm seated out by the front door in the living room and hopefully once it gets dark the little trick-or-treaters will be coming. So you will hear me jumping up or see me jumping up several times tonight to answer the door. I don't know if I can get uh, I don't know if I can get any any of them on camera because you know they're they're kids and i'm not sure if they're if their parents were with them that would be a different story but i'm not sure that i that i'm even going to try and ask so the first thing i want to do is cut this front and back i'm going to have it be the tick the ticking this is tim Ho or tim Holtz paper i think yeah and I think I'll make this one the front and this one the back, like this. 
but I need a, a big sheet. Well, it will be, I think I'll cut it just a little bit wider. And I don't have a whole lot here. If I put in more pages, I will put them in um, separately as tip-ins. It's really weird. I think Janet Baum works on a TV tray out in her living room, unless she changed her se setup. It's really interesting working on a TV tray. <laughs> and this one, of course, is upside down. It's got a Coca-Cola scene on it. It's a covered bridge. It's up, the, the tray is upside down. <laughs> oh dear. I prefer working at my desk. But I want to be at the table here. Now, let's see, eight and a half. I think I'll make this at nine inches. And that'll leave me a half an inch to play with. And I've been working in my room today. I hope to get another video out. I wanted to get it out this afternoon, but that didn't happen. So we got extra here, and this will be the front, probably like this, no, like this, and this one will be the back. This doesn't have a lot of distress around the edges. Yeah, I want it up and down, so I think like this maybe, and I'm cutting it at nine. So I hope you're all having a good Halloween day. Uh, I do like to I do like to set candy out for the little ones and the big ones. <laughs> the little and the big ones. Okay. So now I need to use this as a template. And of course I didn't bring my punch in because I said I'm all set up. Let me go get my punch. I'll probably be running back and forth all night. Everything's put away. <laughs> Everything's put away. I'm going to use the awl. And let's see. I need masking tape. Okay. And we're going to put tape on the side here to strengthen the book cover too. Hi Ruth, good evening Ruth. Mary, don't worry about getting the kids privacy and all. Oh yeah, yeah, privacy, I'm not sure, you know, if their parents are with them, that's one thing, I don't mind asking, but you don't wanna take care, of, uh, take advantage of kids that happen to be alone. So this will be the inside front cover. Now this is this will be my November journal. And what I'm going to do for November mostly is carve stamps. I'm going to do carve November ah, rather than carve December. Because in December 
we're going to be doing probably that recipe book with Becky and the December uh, daily, the D December daily. My camera could come out a little bit, point a little bit more this way, couldn't it? Was that the wrong way? There. There. That that works. Okay. Now, let's do the same thing to the other side. So, do you guys have trick-or-treaters? I don't know how many we're going to get. What, um... Uh, I'm waiting for it to get dark. Um, they come when it gets dark. So it's not quite dark here yet. And, uh, but last year we had quite a few. Toward around 8 o'clock or so, I just, I told, I said, take as much candy as you want. And I tried to get good candy. You know, chocolate and all of that. I think my brother probably snitched some. He does that. He snitches it away from the kids. I said, don't snitch that candy. That's for the kids. Okay. So this already has holes in it. And because I can't put my hands on my punch, I'm going to use this awl and poke a hole through both of them here. And I'm going to try to bind this Becky and Tanya style where there's one sheet at a time and we'll see how hard or easy it is to work in that. Shall I turn my TV tray around so you can see the, the covered bridge right side up? Let me poke a hole in this. Alrighty, let me turn the tray around. Hopefully it won't hopefully it's just the tray here you can see the floor and what's underneath oh I brought in some wax paper there we go there's the the tray this over here is just a gap between the chair and the the tray if I can I'm afraid to adjust this anymore Oops. I don't know what happened there I think I'll just leave it. You get a little reflection here. Sorry about that. I'll be working on my paper, so. All right, so we start with the back one. And so that'll be this, and it doesn't matter. Um, this'll be upside down, but that doesn't matter to me. This one will be right side up. I'll probably put something over that anyway. So, the page that I was using as a guide will be my first page. Whatever I did with that. How can I lose it in two? How can I lose these things? I'll tell you. Oh, and you know, I was going to bind this. Maybe I'll do that, because I want this to be have kind of a November. And, again, I was looking for my, I was looking for my uh, carpet tape. I put it in a box, I think, or it might be in the little tray up here that has my camera set up all on it. I don't want to risk pulling that all out. So I'm going to see if I can't do this with double-sided tape. I might have to mend it up. I got this at the thrift store. 36 inches times one yard, a dollar. I thought it was a nice autumn fabric. Hi, Becky. Welcome, Becky. I'm just going to bind my November journal, Becky. And uh, when it gets darker, I'm going to turn the lights on, on the porch light on. That's how the kids know that they can stop at the house here in our town. Is you have that light on, you're, you're signaling to the kids 
We have candy. <laughs> and guess what? I don't have a waste basket at my ready. I'm going to be throwing things on the floor. However, you should have seen this floor <laughs> an hour ago. It had boxes all over the place. Oh, this has already cut some. This has been already cut. See, I got it at the thrift store. But I only need a little here. And I don't know if these scissors will cut it or not. Not the little ones, the little one. I'm just going to mark it here. We'll see what happens. And this, even if it doesn't stay stuck, it'll strengthen the... the holes on the piece. Let me, what can I put there? Penelope, I need you to hold this for me. Would you hold this for me, please? My pleasure, Mary. Let me tip my, there, so I can read a little bit better. Becky says, no one else on our street has their front lights on. So we won't be getting many, if any, at all. Well, once the kids here learn who has candy, they, they pass it on. So I'm expecting we'll get some. All right. And then I'm just going to pull it this way. And this is just going to be makeshift here. <laughs> I just want to bind the edge. And this fabric was already cut into, into, I got it at the thrift store, so it's an odd shape. Let me fold it up here. And again, I apologize for the lighting. I think I might have bumped it a little here. And of course, Penelope's on the desk, so she's casting her shadow. Oh, but you know, my room is getting straightened up. I'm filling up that little craft room with boxes. <laughs> I go, oh no, I want the bottom one. I know I want the bottom one. <laughs> oh dear. All right, I'm gonna turn it this way. Now, cutting it here. I wonder if I can cut this on my trimmer. Let's try it. I'm gonna try, because I just want an inch, maybe even an inch and a half. I don't know how this trimmer is. I put in a blade not too long ago. Let's cut it an inch and a half and see if it cuts it one inch and one half if it doesn't if it if it uh, frays it that's okay too hi Jude welcome Jude hi Sherry welcome Sherry Linda's here, Becky's here, Mina's here, Ruth is here. Hi, Barbara Chicken Pot Pie Society. Welcome, welcome, welcome. I'm just playing tonight. Let's see, I'm cutting it at an inch and a half. Ah, it's cutting it. Well, sort of. Sort of cut it. I think I can cut the rest with my scissors. pretty easy. Now, what I want to do, though, is take a piece here and double it. Like this. 
and do another inch and a half for the other side and this may not be exactly straight because I'm just working you know I don't have it pressed or anything an inch and a half Works pretty good. And I don't have this pressed or anything. Okay. Now, let's start with this side. I, now, I'm going to have to mark my hollows here and this is dark fabric so I don't know I'll open this up if I can I don't have very good lighting let me can't see what I'm doing and it's only going to get dark other side down at the bottom here all right that's how I want it like that and then we'll just give it a little bit of a fall flavor however I don't have my I don't have my um, carpet tape out Rosemary said, Mary doesn't have her carpet tape out. I don't know what I did with the other tape thing. Honestly, I guess I'll open this one. It's a good thing I brought it out. Okay. Yep, I'm throwing things on the floor. Now I'm just going to put that tape right on over this, maybe about three of them on each side. <laughs> Jude says her lips are sealed. <laughs> Thank you, Jude, for not telling on me. Don't tell Rosemary. Mary didn't. Mary forgot her carpet tape. But for this, I think I can get away. I'm just going to turn this over and do it this way, too. Um, I think I can get away with double-sided tape for this. We'll see. And I think I can do three of these. Maybe even four. Let's see. Yeah. This is going to come out to that white. This white line. So I could probably do five of them. There's my other tape up here. Did Julie pop in? Hi, Julie. Oh, it's Jude. I thought it was Julie. Oh, it's Angie that popped in. Sorry. I thought it was Julie. She was saying hello to Jude. Hi, Angie.
Oh, Julie is here. Hi, Julie. I thought I saw somebody say hello to you. This is why I like Dollar Street double-sided tape. Dollar Tree. Because I use an awful lot of it. I probably would not be doing this with score tape. Now, I think it comes out to this white mark. My banner here. So I am going to... Let's see, this is the back. I am going to put it almost up to the side. So there'll be a little bit of a gap in there. Almost up to the side of that white. Right about... And again, I can't see top down. Right about there. And on here, I just want to leave a little gap. And we'll see how this works. I don't know how it's going to work. Alright. Now, we got to take all the and you know, I wanted to use this one on the back. I think I will. And i cut this off straight. I'll probably have to vacuum in here tomorrow. I've been, I've been unpacking boxes. And, uh, Repacking them, inventorying them. And I'm just about got done. My boy, my room looks a lot better in there. I can't wait to show you guys my progress. Not quite ready to do that yet. I was hoping, but I got slowed down a little. All right. So, I think I'll put it right about does that look right? No, I think I have to go this way. Well, it doesn't matter. Um, this is the back, so we'll see what happens. I have to think about this. Hold on. If this is the back inside, it's upside down. So I want it to face this way. So this needs to be... Well, on these leaves, these are leaves. And these are leaves. These are leaves here. And I think these are leaves, but they look like pumpkins almost. So, I think I'll put it this way. And, or does it like make more sense to put it that way? I'll put it this way. We'll see what happens. I'm not going to fret over it. Now, oops, I could have gone up a little further. Let me go up a little further. My white line is here. I got it. Of course, I got it crooked. There. That's better. Let's snip off the threads. I'm going to try to put those in my... I got a little bucket up in front of me. Alright. Now, let's see what happens over here. I think that's going to be fine. Let's cut these off.
Did I do that right? Yeah. Oh, I need to get a a trash sack out. It's these are making a mess on the floor. I don't think I'm going to open the door too wide. <laughs> Penelope, you're in the way. Well, you moved me here, she says. I was looking at chat. Welcome to everybody who's come in. Aunt Beck said, I think I will put my RJ on. Oh, PJ, I'm sorry. I'm out at my aunt's. For the next three days? Oh, well you might as well get comfortable, Becky. You're not at home. Okay. Now let's do the center first. Just kind of pull it that way and I'll have a little, I might be able to do another one on this side. And let's push these in like that okay that's pretty good I'm pretty happy with that but here I either can cut this off or tape it down and I think I'll tape it down let's just pull this up a little and we're going to put tape on here They're saying hello to Becky. Kids will think the PJs are the Halloween costume. <laughs> yeah. Now, I don't know how hard it's going to be to get this off of the fabric. I might have to get it up to my nose. Maybe use a pen. I found a whole bunch of pens today when I was cleaning. A whole bunch of straight pens. I must have gotten them a couple years ago. I didn't even, I forgot, about, forgot that I even had them. Let's see if I can get this off just get it started and then if you can get it started sometimes I have to scrape at that tape get it on my needle there there we go it's kind of crooked but it's the back cover it'll go like it'll go like this and this will probably all be covered up anyway I'm not too concerned about that so let's do the front cover. And it's getting dark out there. About time to turn on the lights for the kiddos. <laughs> I'll do this one and then I'll turn on the light. So this one, this is the front side and this is the back side. So the front comes out. Not quite. Well, I think I'll stop it at that red line. So I'm going to take that white to that white line there. My blue tape is not straight. It's hard to get things straight when you're, you know, I'm looking at it from the side. I'm not looking at it top down. And I think if I was looking at it top down, I would do better. But 
I'm not going to worry about it. And I am going to do Carb November, so most of my pages in here will be stamp offs. And I know exactly what I'm going to do. Tomorrow's November 1st. Already. And you know, if I don't get 30 days done or 31 days done in a challenge, I'm not going to worry about it. I'm absolutely not going to worry about it because, and I'm still working on illustrating my little gnome story, but um, I'll just grab my October journal if I want to do one and work on it in my October journal. But I don't think I'll, oh, I might be able to do one tonight. Just depends. Uh, yeah, it just depends. Let's see. I think I said I was going to go to the red. And, of course, it will be off here, but I don't mind it being a little that won't matter in there that'll gap there we go as long as the others are holding it I think it will be fine Barbara Clark, Carb November. What about Carb December? I'm not going to do Carb December because I moved my Carb December to Carb November because I want to do Becky's recipe journal or her cookie exchange one and I'm going to be doing the December daily. Hold it. I got trick or treaters. Hold on. What do you say? Trick or treat. Trick or treat. <laughs> How are you doing? You can take as many as you want. Oh. Yeah, you can take more than one. <laughs> you can take more than one. Well, well just yeah. don't take them all, but you can have more than one. Do that now. Am I doing this, Lord? No, I think it'll be good. Uh, yeah. Yo, is that a Happy Halloween. Did you get no. some over here? Did you want some? Oh, okay, Did you want another one? You're the only one who's dressed up in a sweet costume. <laughs> Happy Halloween! <laughs> Trick or treat! I said, what do you say? Trick or treat! Alright, the porch light's on, so... <laughs> How many can we have? How many can we have? Well, you can have more than one. Just don't take the whole bowl. And one little guy went like that, and then he looked up at me. I think they're so cute. Only one little one had a costume on, though. Barb said she just finished Inktober Tangles. She's going to post it on Fibsville. Oh, okay, Barbara. Yay. Now, I don't know if I'm going to get this off. There we go. I didn't tell him I have two more bags of candy in here. <laughs> what happened to my... Here it is. Now... I think this is the top. Where's my fold? My fold is, my opening is here. So I can't decide. So I think maybe this one way makes more sense. And I need to get it almost up to the red. 
there. I gotta be careful that I don't stretch the fabric. I, I tend to wanna pull. And I got a, a little there. Oh, that went pretty smooth. No. Yeah, I think it's just gonna fit. Kids are so fun to... <laughs> They're so shy. They're so shy. How many can I have? Can I have more than one? Yeah. Which Laura came in. Brenda Becky says each prompt covers two days. Becky said, we'll be doing a cookie recipe swap the first part of December. Thank you, Becky. Each prompt covers two days. Which Laura came in? Laura Vasquez. Hi, Laura. Welcome, Laura. Boy, Laura, I might do some, uh, I've been doing mini clusters, or not mini, just clusters. I might do some Halloween ones tonight. We'll see how far I get on this. And, uh, boy, I'll tell you, I sure do appreciate that tiny attacher. Yeah, let's cover that. And I think I'm going to have to kind of pull it tight there. Tight here. There we go. Oh, I'm liking that. Okay. So this is my back. And uh, we're going to do this one page at a time. Now, Becky said to leave three inches. Three inches for But I have a stack. And it would take... Well, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty one, twenty two, twenty three, twenty four, twenty five, twenty six, twenty seven. 28, 29, 30, about 30 pages. So 30 times 3 would be 90 inches. I'm, I'm thinking that maybe what I can do when I run out of thread is um, tie it off and just make a tie in it. I, I'm thinking, I'm hoping. Now this might, the first one might be hard to do because it's, I don't have good lighting. And it's going to be hard for me to see where I put the hole in here. But we're going to poke a hole in here. Oops, did I want it that high? Whoops, well good, we can't see it anyway. I didn't want it that high. I'm going to poke another hole. Well, it's almost, well, it's almost there. Let's see. Right in here. Right there. I didn't bring any clips out or anything. I'm sitting out in the living room. Ignore that, Mary. It takes a lot more than the instructions said. Oh, really? Well, I'm just going to tie off. When I run out of thread, I'm just going to tie another piece on. And if I think if I tie it, work it so that I tie it close enough to the spine it'll just look like a a thread on the spine i'm hoping let me punch in here all right 
So the first one's not going to be easy to do because I can't see the hole right here. Right there. I'm going to leave my... And I am going to use... If I can find it here. I had it when I started. Here. I'm going to use blue because that's what I have. I have some green someplace, but... And I might use... Oh... Maybe a good yard and a half for each one. That's, And I know I won't get through it all on a yard and a half. I know that. But I need three. And I've got plenty here. So let me cut three of these. A yard and a half is about all I can handle. Well, that's not true. But in here because I'm not at my desk, I'm in a very cramped space. So this is the second one. She says, I need to lurk. I have such a headache using this phone all the time. You just lurk away. Thank you for for poking your head in and saying hello. We cert I understand. Boy, do I understand because I'm on the phone all the time. <laughs> and I certainly get it. Oh, well, we don't want to cut my thread here. All right, I've got three pieces at about a yard and a half. Now, I think the first piece you just tie on. And I think you just tie on the cover and then you come in and do the second page. I don't know if you do the second page with the cover or not, but I'm just gonna tie it on the cover. So this is my back. We're starting at the back and we're working forward. So let me grab a thread. And I think I'm going to leave a pretty long thread hanging. Now the problem is, once I get it in the back cover, I'll be fine. But the problem is finding the hole. So I'm going to leave my hand right there and hopefully I can get it through here. I see it. I might need a needle to do this. Is it going? Oh no, it went right through. All right. And we'll probably have to turn it this way once we get going. But I think I'm going to leave a good, maybe a good nine inches hanging so that if I want, and you, you can see this is my first one and this is my last one. So I've got a good maybe two and a half inches here and maybe a good two inches there. But that's okay. That's okay for this journal. I'm, I'm good with it. This is, this is just me playing anyway. <laughs> All right, so we're going to leave that much hanging. Let's do the second one. Did Lisa pop in here? Are Lisa my eclectic life? I see Angie and Sharon Lombard. Hi, Sharon. I see Barbara Clark. I don't see Lisa. Somebody said hello to Lisa. Oops. I'm using my left hand to scroll with. Angie, Angie, there she is. Hi, Lisa. Lisa comes on tomorrow night around 6. And uh, she's going to be weaving, I think. She's, she's set up a 
whoops, I dropped that thread. Where did it go off to? <sighs> Honestly. That's not it. Well, we'll use the, we might have to cut another thread if I can't find it. That's that one. That's this one. How did that thread? There it is. I don't have good lighting, so if things fall on the floor, I, I have a trouble seeing where they are. Okay. So, once I get the back one on the back cover, I think I'll be okay. It's seeing, seeing these holes here. Yeah, Lisa is weaving, I think, on a cardboard loom, which I would love to do. Lisa, I, you know, I wish I could do it all. I want to do everything, Lisa. Can that fit in there? Mm. Oh, it's going through pretty good now. I want this one to be about the same length as this one. Where is it? Is that the short one? Yeah. So I'm gonna... I said about 9 inches, but it's turned out to be more like 12. <laughs> but I don't care. I just, you know, I want it to be fairly long. And I can always cut it down. And did I tie that other one twice? I think I did. I'm going to tie this one twice. And I already have my holes punched on my pages. I think I did that the other night. I think. <laughs> All right, now the third one. Right in here. in there and I'll pull it through about to the same length as the other one and that's pretty long I'm going to pull it just a little shorter And we're just tying a, a shoelace knot here, but I'm doing it double. I guess it's called a square knot, but I call it a shoelace knot. It's like when you tie your shoe. There we go. Now, now we're going to work with the long ones, not the short ones. So I'm going to see if I can't keep those short ones poked under. I don't know. I need, I didn't bring any clips or washi tape, anything like that in here. Well, I might have some washi. All right, so now we're done with the awl, I think. Oh, I hear some voices. There's trick-or-treaters at the door. You got a knock. I didn't hear a knock. I heard voices. Well, well, I can't really... She knocked on this, but oh. she couldn't get that one. Like that. Thank you. You can have more than one. You can have more than one. You guys are so shy. Uh oh! <laughs> Whoa! Oh my gosh. The, the, the Tyrannosaurus Rex here. Who's that? Can you see? I don't yeah, know. Is that uh, Abram? Yes. <laughs> he attacked me yesterday. <laughs> Diving in. Be careful the steps there. Did you get more than one? Yeah. Okay. Happy Halloween. <laughs> A 
a Tyrannosaurus Rex. Man, he was a, he had a, or they did, had a really huge costume on. Looked like a Tyrannosaurus. Now, oh, you know what I did wrong? I'm supposed to double this. Becky probably said, stop, Mary, stop. Stop, Mary, stop. You've got to do it all over again. It's supposed to be doubled. So Mary will start all over again. I don't mind making mistakes. I'll use this thread for something. We'll just pull this all out. Mary, stop! <laughs> you gotta double it. I see. Did, did Becky catch that or was she putting on her PJs? Janet, I can't find me in Fibsville. I think my Facebook is playing up. Becky said, I'm confused. <laughs> That's because I'm doing it wrong, Becky. There's, hold it, trick or treater. Hello? Whoa. 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 <laughs> That's, that monster's taller than me. <laughs> I'm keeping the screen door shut. <laughs> you can have more than one. You want more than one? You want one? Oh, no, thank no? you. <laughs> Right, You're a big red monster. You gotta have more than one. Look at that! Oh, that's so cute. Yeah. Ha, yeah. Ha. Yeah, you Watch your tail. Watch your tail. Thank you. <laughs> I'm sorry we don't have a yard light there. It's gonna have oh, to no, it's okay. show your way. <laughs> It was a monster. It was a four-legged red creature, and he was hitting his head on the porch door, and his dad was helping him, or it. I don't know if it was a boy or a girl. That was a lot of work for just one. Well, okay, I'm cutting my recutting my threads. Becky said, I'm confused, Mary. That's because Mary was doing it wrong. Now I... I see why they need a lot of thread. Well, I've got, I've got lots of thread here. Whoops. I hope I didn't put anybody in time out there. I don't think I did. Becky said she learned it from Tanya. Yeah, I remember Tanya doing this. Yeah, I forgot that I had to double it. I'm kind of playing it by ear here. Okay. That's as long as I'm going to make this one. I figured it out once I got it all tied on. <laughs> all right. So now we've got to do two more. Luckily, luckily I didn't fake it from there and say, oh, I'm doing this right. I'm doing it right. Becky's sitting there going, I'm confused. <laughs> All right, let's just pull my thread this length and then I'll have to double it. Whoops. And you can't see because I'm seated at a I'm seated at a TV tray, sitting by the front door so I can hear the trick-or-treaters coming. That one was a big red monster. A four-legged one and it was tall and whoever it was underneath of that costume the dad was helping it get up and down the steps <laughs> and it turned to walk away <laughs> it's a little bottom shit was shaking it was so cute I'll watch out for the steps We don't have, we got a porch light, but there's no light. There, you know, there's no, we don't have a sidewalk, so we don't have solar lights or anything, so they kind of have to feel their way through the. Oh, I like to do this. I think, you know, I think kids need this. 
You know, they need it. Uh, our world is so, you know, there's so much trouble in the world. Our kids need some fun. Don't you think? I do. And they need some old-fashioned fun. All right, one. We're going to start with that one. I'm sorry, Becky. I messed up. And uh, I think I'm going to do just the first page. But the cover is the hard part for me. I don't know if I can get this through. Penelope! Oh, let me get a needle here. Oh, I hear trick-or-treaters. Trick-or-treaters! I should have taught school. I trained to be a school teacher, but I, um, I, I couldn't, I couldn't see it through. I had some differences of opinion. I should have saw it through. I like kids. All right. So, am I going to start at the top? I think I'll start here. That works so much easier, putting it on the needle. And then you go, you go through the two threads. Well, you just tie it, I think, first. But I'm going to go through the two threads and do a, a tie there. And that may not be the proper way to do it. But I'm going to leave about, well, that may be about five inches. And I'm sure this isn't how Becky and Tanya did it, but that's the way I'm going to do it. I'm not sure I'm doing it right. I might have needed to put the open ends through there. Didn't I? I did. Well, we're going to leave it. It's okay. All right. I think I'm on track now, Becky. Janet said, thank goodness you have all of us. <laughs> Aw, Jude says, I agree, Mary, the kids today need some other form of norma normality under the circumstances. At least they have a safe guardian with them. Yes. Sharon says, we always said trick or treat, smell my feet, and give me something good to eat. Ew, smell my feet? No way. Angie said, I learned something new about Mary. Oh, that I trained to be a teacher? Yeah, I went clear through my student teaching. Um, I wanted to be an art teacher. But I kind of, well, and you know what? I'm glad I stuck to my guns. Because the world is so different today. And I'll bet you that if I went in with the same opinions today that I had back then, I probably would have fit in. I probably would not have had such a... Um, I think I'm supposed to thread the open ends through. We're going to do this one with the open ends. I probably would not have had such a difference of opinion with my teachers. But I look at what these kids are going through today, and I'm going... You should have listened to me 40 years ago. <laughs> oh, dear. 
Let's just pull this clear through until I get it off the needle. And then I'll come back. So on this, this first one, I have the open ends at the bottom. On the second and third one, I'm going to have the loop end at the bottom. I don't think it's going to make a whole big a amount of difference for me, but... If you want to know the proper way to do this, you need to go look at Becky's or Tanya's. And Becky, I think, bound her recipe book this way. And uh, I, I bound mine the open spine, the open, the expandable spine way that Rhonda, I mean, that uh, Rosemary is doing on my recipe book. And this is the first time, so you're going to have to bear with me. If I make, if I get something wrong, it's because it's been a while since I've looked at the video. I thought Mary was a teacher of some area. No, I took, I, t I trained to be a teacher and I went through student teaching and uh, I student taught a junior high school level in downtown Lincoln, Nebraska. And, you know, I was a small town girl from a, you know, and back in that, back in that time, we didn't, we couldn't even wear slacks to school. If we wore jeans to school, we, we had to wear them under our skirt and take them off when we got there on, because that would be on snow days. So, and, you know, I'd go in the restroom and those kids would be hiding out in the restroom smoking, those junior high school kids. You know, they were in their rebellious <laughs> stage of life, but I just, you know, I couldn't adjust to some of the things that were going on there. I just, you know, and I decided I withdrew from college. I decided that I didn't want to pursue education and I went to business school and trained to be a legal assistant. Well, the legal assistant in that time of my life, in that time of life, in, this, in the mid-70s, was a new field. And there were not a lot of attorneys in Lincoln hiring legal assistants. Now I think it's a little bit more accepted too. All right, so now I got three and each one of them have a double thread, like that. And the first one is open at the end. The, the second and third one are not, the second and third one have the loop at the bottom. And I'm just gonna leave this little thread hanging here. So let's see if I can do the next page. And if I understand this, and what I'm going to do, if I can reach for it here, is I'm going to put a piece of tape on the end of my thread to make it like a shoelace. And I think it'll fit through those holes a lot easier. So let me just do this kind of like a, let's, let me straighten out the thread here first. Make sure that the ends are fairly even. Maybe snip it off here. I think kids, you know, the kids have always, every generation has to go through something. But, you know, the kids today, they have the virus thing to deal with, and they've got drugs, and all the political stuff that's going on, you know, the junior high and the high school probably affects them a little bit more than the grade school kids are probably a little bit more sheltered from that but I think kids deserve to be kids because um, they're going to grow up soon enough they're going to grow up and meet the mean old mean world soon enough in their life and some of them probably 
I'm going to get this off of my, up to my nose if you don't mind. You know, and there's so many broken homes. I wouldn't say we have a lot of broken homes in our area. There are probably some, but... All right. So now I have this like the end of a shoelace. And I'm just going to kind of squeeze it together. Now, if I understand, you go over and through the two, the two threads. Hold on. Happy Thank Halloween. You. Did you get enough? Did you want another one? I've got plenty. You're welcome. Be careful on the way out. <laughs> Happy Halloween. Mostly junior high school kids. I haven't seen a lot of little ones. One little one on the first door. All right, so you come through the center of your two threads. Let me get these straightened out a little. And make sure that I've got the right threads here. So here are my, here's my center threads right here and you come through it through the two like that and well, that goes on the underneath so I'm just going to keep pulling now I don't think I want mine pulled very very tight we'll see and this is I'm leaving this with the end I'm going to leave an end piece on it so let's do the next piece, and it'll come down this way. Is that through the right hole? Looks like it's off a little right in here. Oh, it's right here. Um, I'm going to skip that middle one. I might have to repunch that middle hole. I think it's, oh, um, is it here too? Well, I'm deciding whether I want to punch the middle one or all of these. I think these are all the same. Yeah, I'm going to have to, I'm going to have to redo these. I don't mind redoing them, but I'm going to cut them. I want it to, I want to start out right. You guys gonna have to put up with me while I make all my mistakes. <laughs> what I want to do, I thought I had those punched right. It's right in here. I need a clamp is what I need. But I don't mind because you can't hardly see the holes in here anyway. I don't mind repunching these. And I'm going to do them one at a time. I think I hear some more kids coming. I've had mostly junior high school kids. There we go. All right, we're gonna we're gonna measure out some more thread, and yeah, I hear some more kids coming. Hold on. Do 
buy here a trick or treater. Yeah. <laughs> Trick or treat, pick as much as you want, but not the whole bowl. You can have more than one. There you go, that's good. I have like a couple. Do you want a more? Keep looking at them. Take a peachy bowl, take a snicker bowl. There you go, you can have that. You're welcome, happy Halloween. Be careful on the way out. Be careful on the way out. Halloween, you've got a blinking wrist. That's cute. Do you want more than one? You're welcome. Happy Halloween. Be careful. <laughs> little witch, a little witch. She was so cute. They're so shy. All right, I was measuring out a second thread here. I think once I do a couple, I'll be okay. Yeah, I don't see any coming with their mom and dad, so they're mostly kids alone, so I don't think I can... I don't think I'll feel comfortable turning a camera on them. Hi. Trick or treat. Trick or treat. Ooh, who are you? Are you the Dark Vader? I don't know. Grim Reaper. The Grim Reaper? Yeah. Whoa. Do you want some more? Sure. <laughs> of course. Be careful on the way out. Grim Reaper. <laughs> I'm going to have refill the candy dish here in a minute. I encourage them to take as much as they want. How often do you get to dip your hands into a candy dish and take as much as you want? Let's see, I think I put the needle back. I don't think I kept it out here, did I? No, it's here. We didn't have a single truck or tr trick-or-treater. Oh, Jacqueline. Well, you know, this is a small town. I think they're a bit more trusting here than in a larger city. You know, in a larger city, they have their Halloween parties and stuff like that. There was a dad there. I thought he was a dark fate. The kid was a dark Vader, but he said he was the Grim Reaper. I'm going, oh no, the Grim Reaper's at my door. All right, so I think if I go through here, like, oh, you know what? I need to tie this on first, I think. Let me tie it on first. I've already put that first one on, so let me tie this one on. And then, stand it, you come over.
and through. But I think I'm going to go, did I go through the second hole here? I think, I think I went through the second hole here and I'm going to do the same thing here. Where, where is it? No, maybe I didn't. Maybe I just go in like that. And you go through the two threads. So go through those two and pull it. I need to clamp it. I think once I get going, it'll be fine. All right, let's do the third one and see how it opens up. I think I'm on track now, but I have to punch another hole here, right here. Good thing for me, this is dark fabric and you can't see where the holes go. And it kind of tapes itself back together. Or at least in the dark you can't see. <laughs> yeah, I think once I get going here I'll be fine. Alright. So let's do another one. I'm pulling out the red. They like the little M&M packages. I would have gotten more of them. Alright, I'm going to put that down on the floor. Riri, hi Riri. Riri says, we only have trick-or-treaters from 6 to 8. All the kids go to this year and they have... Trank treating, trick treating, where people sit at the back of their car. Oh, trunk treating, where people sit at the back of their car and give out candy. So we don't have kids. I don't think that is. Oh. Well, you know, um, what did I do with the needles here? Here, it's a small town. You know, but it's kind of cool out tonight. It's kind of cool. My brother said it was supposed to snow today, but I didn't see any snow. All right, I gotta find the hole there. And don't do what I'm doing <laughs> because I had to take my thread out twice. How did I do that? I did a blind knot instead of, here, let me, I didn't want to do that. Well, I probably should have, but that isn't what I want. I want to tie it instead. And I'm going to tie it so I have some threads hanging just for me. I don't think Becky and Tanya did that. I don't know. It's been a while since I've watched the videos. But I'm sure every time I mess up, I find my way through it, and I'm always happy at the end. All right, so now you go over and, and through the two threads here. That part I get, that i got to get my threads separated. Go over and through. I wish I could turn the camera on them. That big old red monster would have been fun to see. And the Tyrannos Tyrannosaurus Rex. There was one that was dressed up as a Tyrannosaurus Rex. One had a little, little witchy with a blinking wrist. Alrighty. Alrighty. I think I'm good now. And I don't think I'll need my needle anymore. And I feel like I should clip it, though. Let me run and get a bulldog clip. Hold on. I think I'll do better with it clipped here to keep it straight.
My room is looking good. I can actually walk in there and <laughs> I can actually walk in there. Alrighty. I'm going to clip it right up here. All right. The next page is just a, a pattern page. And I'm going to take the other two, but I take this like a shoelace. So I can just thread it through. And then you open up the threads and come through through that and it'll be a little wiggly until I get it in there of course now like I have what 30 pages to do <laughs> but I'm anxious to see after I do this one I'm going to see how they turn because I do want to work in this journal. All right, now let's tape these two ends together like a shoelace. Now, clip it here. My brother went to bed. Last year, he stayed up and let me know every time somebody was at the door. I kept having to jump up. He, he, he got a giggle out of me having to jump up every five minutes. He said, he's done all that. He says he, he served his, he's done his duty as far as Halloween goes. He was telling me about a time that he, he told one little boy he was going to eat him. <laughs> a little boy ran away. <laughs> his dad was with him. And I guess he came back and he said, I really wouldn't eat you. I was just trying to, he said, I was just scaring you. I was just having fun with you. I was just messing with you. But I don't think that little boy <laughs> bothers my brother much. <laughs> um, I'm going to cut this. He's probably, he's probably a young man now. He's probably a young man now. All right, so you go through, over. Now I'm going through the threads on the one that, I, the top here. I think that's what you're supposed to do. And you just go through those two, these two threads right there and there. And just pull it tight. Uh, it's going to be a little jiggly until I get get it situated. We'll see how this works. I might have to go in and tighten things up. We'll see. All right, now I'm ready for the third one here, and I'm going to I'm going to tape it. Did my light get moved. I feel like I got a shadow. What's the shadow from? Shadows from this box. I got a tray here. And I moved my light a little. Whoops, I moved the tray. Not very good lighting. I wouldn't want to do this all the time here. But it's good enough to do the So I'm just taping the ends together like a shoelace. And I think that'll be easier to thread them in.
Yeah. Too much tape. Alrighty, let's do the last one here. I don't think I'll need my call anymore unless I have to redo everything. Give Penelope back her needle. Alright, so we go through this one. And, whoops, I didn't get it in there. Through, and then through the two, the two threads here. Like so. Got it a little twisted. Got it a little twisted. Can I untwist it enough to pull it? good about it now. I'm just going to try another page. So this one's a little shorter. I, my clip won't reach down that far. Let's try one more. And I'm just using old papers. Old papers. I hope this is right, what I'm doing. Some of these are pretty close to the edge. This one's not wrapped tight enough. This one's pretty close to the edge. We'll see if it holds. flip this over and take these back ones down. Get them out of my way. The ones that I left on the ends. I threw my tape back over there. Now they'll use some painter's tape. Becky said, I have to go to bed at 9, as we have to get up at 5.30. Okay, Becky. So Becky will be leaving us at 9 Eastern. That's okay. I understand. I know. I understand those early morning hours, Becky. I'm looking for the start to this tape. Right here. Yeah. Jill says, oh, wow, that sounds fun. I've never have tried that cereal. Jacqueline says, yep, Beck, I'll be up with you. 4.55 here is the go time. The get up time. I'm just going to tap this down so it won't get in my way while I'm working. This is the... Am I doing this right? Oh, I think I have the cover backwards. I have the cover on, but I don't mind this being the back. I'll, I'll cover it up anyway. I wanted the ticking on the back, but my ticking is on the back inside. That's all right. I can live with it. I'll cover it up. I just want to get experiment with doing this binding. This is the first time I've bound a journal like this. And I'm really curious to see if I can work in the journal after. See, I got my I've got my ticking 
on the inside cover and I wanted it on the outside but say la vie say la vie all right now I think I can I, I have less threads in my way And now I think I can sail here. Open up these two threads and pull it through the center like that. Make sure I get them all. Did I go through the two? I thought I did. Doesn't look like it. I'm going to pull it through this loop. I don't think I went through the two. We're going to see what happens here. I think I'll do that again. It has to go through. It has to go through these two. I don't have good lighting, so it's hard for me to see. So it has to go through these two. Where's my thread? Ah, push it that way. There. That's through both of them. There, I'm happy with that. All right. Now, the next one... I'm going to clip that little frayed edge off. And threads. And I'm going to be doing this for 30 sheets. So if you guys want to go trick-or-treating, have at it. I'll be here working on my journal. Hi, Lori. Sharon says, I have to go. Dinner time in Oregon. Watch the replay later. Have fun, you all. Aw. Bye, Sharon. Jill says, that's cool. I could never get into baseball. Too many memories of Dad watching it over at Grandpa and Grandma's house and just and me just wanting to go home. <laughs> oh, same thing with football. Um, I enjoy baseball a lot more than I enjoy football. Baseball, I understand. I grew up with baseball. Football, well, I grew up with it, but I never did like it. I got bored. What do you mean? They're stopping again? When are they going to play? <laughs> Too many huddles and stops and starts in football for my... And I never understood sometimes why they... Why did they stop? Why didn't they just go? <laughs> yeah. All right, pull it through. I don't know how this is going to work on this, but, you know, it's my first time doing it. If it's wonky, I'm okay with wonky. I'm okay with wonky. Is that all the trick-or-treaters we're going to have? Sometimes there's late ones. I thought I was going to have to refill my candy bowl, but I don't know. Nobody's coming to the door. And all the ones that came to the door, their mom and dads brought them in a car. So it's cold out. The kids aren't walking up and down the streets. The mom and dads are bringing them in their car, so kids have to rely on mom and dad to take them places.
That was a monster, my brother monster. He was yelling in there. Alrighty. This thread is kind of twisting on me. I don't know if this is the way Becky and Tanya did this or not, but it's the way I'm doing it. <laughs> my thread is twisting on me. I'm trying my best to keep it straight, but it wants to twist. And it does that in needlework too, because you, you, when you take your thread and go in and out and in and out, there's a natural twist to your thread. goes in there there we go we'll see how this ends up if I don't like it I can always snip it apart rebind it Linda says she's a Tom Brady fan. Lisa said it's only 53 here. Maybe that's why we had no one. If I had not bought any candy, they would have shown up. Yeah. That's it. The candy dish, we made sure it's full so nobody's coming. If you wouldn't have bought any candy, they'd all be there. What do you mean you don't have any candy? Oh, you've got a big tree. We can, we can take care of that big tree for you. We got a couple rolls of paper left. <laughs> There's two sheets here. Let's do this one. So I'm just using scrap papers, painting papers. Yeah. My brother's having some bad dreams in there, I think. Maybe a monster's getting him. He hasn't yelled like that for a while. I haven't heard him yelling. He's in there. I asked him one time. dreaming and he said it can't. A can't. in there. They're dressed pretty warm. It's cool out there. Yeah, Lisa, that could be why. I don't know what the temperature is here, but it's, and I open that door, I get a, a little cool air coming through. Well, see, I went through the center. It's not quite lining up for me. Maybe it's because I have it clipped. there. We'll see how this works in the end. I might have to just, I don't know, adjust it when I get done. We'll see. It's fun to experiment. And I'm just using copy paper and painty paper. Um, I'm not using like a, a, a thick paper like mixed media or anything like that. I think what happens here is I get my top threads mixed up with my bottom ones and they get twisty. Let's untwist this. Oh.
that one went pretty good. Lisa says, most of the churches here have things for the kids to do, trying to keep them off the street. Yeah, you're in Amarillo, so I can understand that. You know, even when I was a kid, though, we went trick-or-treating, but I also remember we would have soup suppers. And soup suppers, we'd have chili and, and uh, hot cocoa. We'd have bonfire nights. School would have bonfire. The churches usually had the soup suppers. I, those were autumn activities for us. Fall school activities and church. Well, I, I think once I get this done and tied off, it's going to be good. But I'm not sure I'm doing it right because I seem to have plenty of thread. Becky's probably says, I'm going to bed. She's all off. <laughs> Becky will probably say, Mary, go watch my video again and pay attention this time. I did watch it. I watched it enough to know you go between the threads. But I forgot that you had to double them. That's looking good. By Jove, I think she's got it. Good night, Becky. Up and at them tomorrow morning. Up and at them real early. Tomorrow's November 1st. And I am going to be doing Carve November. I'm going to be carving erasers. And hopefully my carving is not going to be too complicated. Um, I've tried to keep it simple. I've already done all the figuring of what I'm going to do and the rough sketches. I, I haven't carved on, I haven't sketched on my erasers yet. But I know what I'm going to do. I'm saving it for tomorrow to show you. <laughs> oh. Hi, Dana. I moved it from December for myself, Lisa. I, I think Carve December is still a thing. It was started, Carve December was started by Julie Faith Ann Balzer. And uh, I think she'll probably be doing Carve December and everybody who follows her. But I'm changing it for myself to carve November, just because December is so crazy. And I want to do Becky's recipe book, and I want to do my December daily, and that will leave me little time to carve erasers. And this one didn't get all the way punched, so I wanted that to be punched. I'm going to skip that one. It's an odd page anyway. And so I'm just using scrap papers. I want to use them up and I don't want to throw them away. I don't want to throw them away. going to have candy left over. I'll probably leave the light on till about nine o'clock. Usually the older kids come out later at night. It's been a lot of junior high school kids, some little ones with their parents, but usually, usually the high school kids will come out later and I say take a handful <laughs> I want too much sugar in this house 
My brother will eat it. He's probably already snuck some. I always have to, every Halloween, hide the candy bowl from him. I said, that's for the kids. Now it's going pretty easy now. Here's a rusty page that's, yeah, he's in there yelling. My poor brother. My poor brother. They lowered his dosages on his medication. And he says he doesn't notice a difference, but I haven't heard him yell like that for... I'm going to ask him if he's... He, um... Is this affecting him any? They cut his dosage. I don't know how much, if they cut it in half or if they just lowered it some. He got a new doctor. The VA changes doctors frequently. I think he's had two new doctors since I've been here. I'm going to tell him he was yelling last night. He was out yesterday. I was in here working on all my, I've been working pretty hard on getting my room cleaned up. And I was in here working on my room and I didn't realize he cleaned up the, we, we cut the, all the trees down and everything and then it kind of rained and got messy and we had to let all that dry out. He was out there yesterday, he loaded it all up on his pickup. He said he, he did three, three trips to the junkyard yesterday. Um, we take our yard waste to the, the tree limbs and everything. They have a recycle area there for yard waste. He said he, he hauled off three, three, um, three pickup loads of it. So he was pretty tired yesterday. Lisa says, I'm going to go lurk and spin. Okay, Lisa. I'm going to try to, to uh, get in your room tomorrow. Now, this is just a paintbrush pocket. Paintbrushes came in it, and I poked holes in it, and I'm going to see if it will, how it will go into this journal. We'll see. I wish that I had Lisa's talent. I'm not envious of it, but boy, I'll tell you, she does some nice work, doesn't she, with that spinning. That would be fun. I, I never learned how to spin. I never learned how to spin, and I had to teach myself how to knit here, and of course, I can just do the knit and purl stitches, and I'm just a beginner with that, but I'm proud of what I've done so far. I've made two scarves, and I made a little holder for my phone, a little phone holder, and I made a little tablet holder. And I tried, I'm tried. i trying a Christmas stocking, but I haven't learned how to change colors yet. Um, the pattern I was following wasn't too clear, so I need to read up on how to change colors. Let's see, Dana said, they had lights across the street and Travis Tritt's son played, food vendors. Julie said, boy, I wish the toilet was a separate room to the bathroom. I'm not sure what you're talking about. Dana said, we went to a street dance last night in my hometown. Oh, that was cool. Yeah, I'm I'm glad to see people getting out and doing things again. You know, people need to they need to do stuff. You can't just sit at home for five years and you know wear a mask. You need to get out. You need to enjoy life. This is going pretty good. I haven't opened it yet, but it looks like it's a little wonky in there. 
but I think I'm going to be okay with it. Well, I'm interested to see how it, how it's going to be to work in it. What an awesome idea, Dana. Everyone must have had a blast. Dana said, we did. It was nice. Riri says, see you all at 6 p.m. All loomed up and ready to go. <laughs> did you make a loom? I'm just not going to... This this thread would be nice to, to do the warping. Is that what it's called when you thread that loom? But I'm not sure I have the yarns to play with. But it would be nice. Oh, this was this is too close to the edge. I'm going to hold that one off. Some of this, when I did these, um, you know, the papers weren't in there straight. I'm hoping I'm doing this right. Seems to be going pretty fast now. Dana said, I never got the hang of crochet. My mom did it. Well, I, uh, I crochet quite a bit. I'm making a shawl right now. And out of 62 rows, I'm on row 50. So, um, I'm doing it with thrift store yarn, and I was a little worried I wasn't going to have enough. But I had seven skeins, so I think there's going to be enough. I think, because I'm on row 50, of course, when you do a corner-to-corner -corner afghan, your rows, the further you go, the more yarn it takes, because you're going toward the center. You're working toward the base, the diagonal of a triangle but I'm pretty happy with it so far and I think I'm going to have enough yarn to finish it so you can call this a junk journal <laughs> hi Suze welcome Suze Dana says, if you weren't exposed to this stuff, you won't build up in an immunity. Oh, yeah. Yeah, they called my brother. They want him to go get the booster shot, so we got that to do next week. He said, I don't want to, but I guess I better. And I just let him decide what he wants to do for himself. I stay out of it for, for him let him make his own decision he says I don't want to but I guess I better yeah, all right I help him set up the appointments and everything he has a hard time understanding them on the phone and even the people at the VA he has to tell them that he's on a caption phone hold it Hello! <laughs> you scared me. You can have more. Take a handful because it's getting light. Share it. <laughs> Bye! <laughs> Happy Halloween. Be careful going up those steps. Take a handful. It's getting late. He grabbed a big old Handful. He had a a white mask on. I think he was probably the Dark Vader too. All right, where's my thread here? I like to do it. I think it's just it's almost as fun for me to do it as it is for the kids. My brother's in there having nightmares or something I haven't heard him yell like that oh that tore I haven't heard him yell like that for a long time I'm gonna put one more in I think that'll be okay 
I think it tore to the, I think it's still on there. We'll see. Riri says, I go for my booster next Saturday. I'm good with that as far as I'm concerned. It's just another flu shot. No big deal. Well, I didn't know that he was doing the Moderna. I, I prefer the Pfizer vaccine for myself. And I guess at the VA, they give him the Moderna. Or it, maybe they ask him and he didn't have a preference I don't know I go with him but I didn't go with him when he went into the clinic to get the shot they take 25 of them at a time yeah. this is a report cover here No, uh, he's okay. If he was yelling too bad, I'd go in and turn on the light and wake him up. But he has done that ever since I've been here. But for a while there, he was really quiet. Um, but they lowered his dosage on his medicine, and I'm wondering if maybe that isn't affecting him. I'm going to... I'm going to keep an eye on it. I'll mention it to him tomorrow. He doesn't remember. He doesn't remember yelling like that. I asked him once why he was yelling. I said, do you remember what you were dreaming? And he said, he said sometimes he, he dreams that there's a cat on his face. <laughs> Which makes me think that, you know, maybe when he was a baby. I don't think my mom had animals in the house, though. But, you know, sometimes cats can crawl up on babies' faces. and. But my mom never was one to want animals in the house, especially with us kids. Now, when she was older, she had a little chihuahua dog that was taken care of by a neighbor lady who passed away. And the chihuahua dog was a one-person dog. Well, it took to mom. It would let mom feed it and pick it up and everything. It wouldn't let anybody else. Finally, toward toward the end there, it let my dad pick it up. They, they took care of that dog just like it was their own baby, you know. My mom, my mom got along pretty good with that little dog. You're a terrible dreamer. You know, I usually dream, when I dream, I dream I'm back at work or I'm moving. I'm always moving to a new apartment. <laughs> One time I dreamt that I was mopping floors and I put watercolor in my mop water. I thought, well, might as well. <laughs> I have some weird dreams, but I... I've only had one really bad nightmare that I remember, and I'm not even going to repeat it. It was a, it was a scary nightmare, and and I still think about that nightmare. I can still close my eyes and remember that nightmare. And that was when I was at home here, but not very often. I don't have, I don't have bad. Let's see, this one's bad too. I'm going to repunch that. Let's see if I can't make a better hole up here. It might be a little crooked in there, but I don't know if I can go through that. Yeah, I guess I can. And this paper, when I stack it up, it's wonky. So I don't get it punched right. And my attitude is, well, it's just a junk journal. 
it's just a journal for me so I don't try to be too precise but that needed repunching how oh, this is going here little twisty thread there we go and my light my journal's getting away from me here let me turn this camera just a little there once I choked my husband when I was asleep <laughs> what are you doing choking me this one's pretty close to the end too was, this paper wasn't straight when I punched it And I punched a whole bunch of them at once. That wouldn't have happened if I would just do two or three sheets. But I got ambitious. There we go. This was a mind map. I was talking mind maps one night, uh, how to do a mind map. Plant a garden. Angie says, I said, what would you grow in your garden? And Angie said, I would grow yo-yos in my garden. <laughs> All right, Angie. Yo-yos it is. What time is it? 8.10. This one got a little to the edge, but I think I'll be okay because I got that mask that uh, painter's tape on the other side of it yeah clip it here No, I tore it. I tore it. Let's see. What did I do with my painter's tape? It's right here. I'm going to mend that. And repunch the hole. It may not lay completely flat because I put this one way in, but we'll see. We will see, said the blind man, but he didn't see at all. So next week starts November. Uh, what's going on? Let's see. I'm working on my. I'm working on my. Uh, I'm gonna mend this one too. I'm working on my China caboodle yet. My Asian caboodle. And I ordered the Egyptian one. It should be here next week. Rosemary will be starting that. I, I think I want to finish the China one, though, so I may just watch. Uh, I'm waiting for my music box to come in for the to work on the music box one. And I, I was a little worried that maybe the music box wasn't going to fit. I was worried it might be too big, but I think I went out and looked at the size, and I think it's going to be fine. Yay! 
I can't wait to do that one. And I'm debating. I want to do photos on one side and the music box on the other. But I'm debating whether to put in family photos or just, you know, just regular photos that I have, old vintage photos. I would love to do my mom and dad and us kids and everything. When I got pictures of it, but I don't know what I did with those pictures. I know I brought them home. How many pages do you have left, Mary? I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, <laughs> nine, ten. This one didn't get punched. Eleven. These didn't get punched. Twelve. Thirteen. This one got punched. Fourteen. These did. Fifteen. 16, 17, 18. And my brother yelled again. What is it? Is it Halloween? He's being haunted in there? I heard him yelling again. I might go in there and turn on the light and wake him up and tell him he's waking the dead. What did Sue say? Before the end of the year, Mary, can we do a dirty dozen? I love those. Yes, we can. That would be fun. And in fact, Becky did a dirty dozen, um, was it last week or the week before? She did a dirty dozen in her stream, and I have those prompts. And I was thinking that, that I would do those with ink. And end out my Inktober with that. Because I can convert most of those prompts to ink. I could use ink on most of them. So yeah. Let's see. Maybe next Friday night we'll do a, we'll do a, a Dirty Dozen. Those dirty dozens are fun, and, and I'll do it on a on an 18 by 24 sheet. And Sue's, Sue, Sue, Sue's, it won't be long, and I'll be getting that box ready for you before the end of the year, maybe. <laughs> oh, dear. Um, because I am getting pretty well organized, and I'm hoping to be able to just, you know, get things in there for you um and i have a box that i want to send off to sue's we've been working on it for the last two years i think i got your inks i saved all those off uh when i say inks when i went to that antique place where i go where I shot my birthday video, there's a booth there that was selling ink pads for $2 a piece. And I picked up several for Sue's, and they're just in there. I've saved them off, Sue. She's going to be upside down. Let's put her this way. Yeah, let's put her this way. We might have to tie this off anyway, because... I'm getting close to the end of this thread. Not close. I probably got about a foot and a half left. Maybe a foot. That much left. Come on. My lighting is so bad I can't see where I'm going. There. Oh, let's tuck this in. Oh, I got, yeah, maybe a foot and a half left on that. About the same on this. 
But look how close I went there. Now I'm going to I'm going to put tape over those. I don't like those. It's too close to the edge. Hi Teresa. Very cute drawing. What is she or she? Is that a groundhog? That was a squirrel. That was the beginning of a squirrel. I actually finished that squirrel. And I have a finished drawing of him. Let me show you here. It was, it goes like this. Like this. See, and here's his. actually sketched him from. I didn't sketch that from a photo. That was a live thing. I can't remember. What did I knock over? My scissors here. Let's pick them up. I might need them. Boy, I have a mess on the floor to clean up tonight. My poor brother's been putting up with my junk the last couple days at this living room. I usually try to keep my things contained to that one room in there. But when I'm sorting and cleaning, I have to pull it all out. And <laughs> oh dear, it's a mess. It's a royal mess. Oh, I just shouldn't have clipped that. And let's do the other one. Right about here. Since these, th this page will probably be a little wonky because, you know, I'm just clipping it. I mean, I'm just uh, adding it after the fact here. Yeah. I think this whole book is a little wonky. I'm hoping that once I tighten everything up. We'll see. We'll see. I might have to... I might have to tighten these pages up. I thought he was peeking out of a hole, but it was his tail. <laughs> oh, I thought he was peeking out of a hole. It was his tail. Okay. Well, I can see why you would think that. Because the tail really wasn't completely finished. Yeah, it, that squirrel drawing turned out pretty good. And what I wanted to do, because I did a squirrel, I did a, a um, owl, I did a lion, and what else? I did a wolf. And what I wanted was to get reprints done of them. But that was about the time when... COVID was going on and all the shops were and I couldn't find a good place to print things off for cheap and so I just kind of dropped it sort of kind of sort of and because I can't afford to pay a dollar 75 cents you know for and then there's mailing costs for several people. This just adds up too much. End up spending a hundred and some dollars for printing costs and a hundred and some dollars for mailing costs. I don't make that much money on my channel. <laughs> Wait, I'll tell you. I like my chair, my own chair, much better. I think our trick-or-treaters are about done. It's been several minutes. It's what's eight, almost 8.30 here. I think I can probably turn out the light here pretty soon. This is another small page. Let's put, let's put this one in.
Yeah, I have several pages here. I got 30 some pages to put in here. So this has taken me a while. But it seems to be working pretty good. Uh, the, I don't know how wonky it's going to be. But usually you do these pages after you've worked in them. And I want to use this as a working journal. So I'm curious to know how that's going to go. If it doesn't work, I'll just work in another journal. Just use this one for a junk journal or a glue book or something. We'll see. But I'll be doing stamp stamping. November is going to be stamping. That tore right through. That one's going to tear through too. Holes were too close to the edge. I'm going to mend them. Printing is high here too, Brenda says. Yeah, printing costs are pretty high. I don't know how Dee Dee does it, but she's, she, I think she's got a generous heart myself. Um, when her mother passed away, she kind of, kind of slowed down on that a little. And I gave her a PayPal just, and I meant it more as a, sympathy I didn't send flowers but she still sent me she sent me a history of a teddy bear page <laughs> I'm going you didn't have to do that Dee Dee but thank you I put it in my journal come on get in there So tomorrow, Janet, I don't think Janet Nash, will, I don't know where she is with her parents, but uh, I don't think she's going to be live tomorrow. But Dee Dee will be on tomorrow at 8.30 Eastern. Do you guys miss Janet Nash? Boy, let me tell you, I do. I miss her. And I wasn't even watching her for the longest times, but Becky kept showing me the prompts and what she did with the prompts. And I'm going, I'm missing out. <laughs> so I started getting up on Monday mornings to watch Janet. And then I watched Dee Dee on Wednesdays. I try to get in there. Sometimes if I'm tired, I don't make it. So I understand when you guys get tired. How many do I have left? I feel like these are going on forever. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. I'm only, I thought I counted 30. If that's 14, I'm only half done. Let me, let me check this and see how it's looking. Let me count the pages. I'm getting tired. I'm getting bored. I might finish this later. Let me clamp these together. I might do something else. I'm getting pretty bored with doing this. Let's put my tape over here. Let's check this out and see what's going on with it. Now, it will have to be a little tighter. But, I, yeah, I think I can work in this. Look, the pages are flipping nice. The pages, well, that squirrel's upside down because he's right side up. 
Look, I think I can work in this. Look at this. These pages are flipping very nice. This is a report cover. All oh, these are flipping nice. This is a working journal. I can stamp in this. This is a torn page. He's yelling in there. I'm going to go in there and turn the light on him. These are these are flipping nice. This will flip. This will. This is taped together there. Yeah. I wish I would have put that cover in right, but I didn't. I'll cover this up. So, so we got one, two. This is sticking together here. Let me cut that off. So, what did I say? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And I'm going to count this as a page, but I probably won't work on it unless I work on stays on. Nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. 16, 17. But I do want to have this done. Now it's a little wonky, but I think, I think once I get it all tied and everything, it's still not tied. I think it'll take shape. I might have needed um, five threads to hold this together better. But, and here's the thing. I think I'll keep going because I want to quit, but tomorrow's November 1st, and it's only 8.30. Oh, let me stretch a little here. Maybe I'll eat a piece of that candy. <laughs> I'm going to leave the light on until 9 o'clock, and then I'll turn it off if none of the kids... Um, they left all the Tootsie Rolls. Oh, there's some Snicker Bars. You want a Snicker Bar? How about a Twix Bar? There's, the, the little ones like the M&M's. And I've got some Tootsie Rolls. There's a Tootsie Roll. I shouldn't be eating anything. I shouldn't be eating anything. My my dentist says no sweets after, after meal. But I'm going to have... Well, this is a chewy... A chewy fruit chewy. Want a fruit chewy? Uh, Tootsie fruit chewy. I've never had a Tootsie fruit chewy before. I'll save this for a cluster. I'll save it for a cluster. I need to keep going because I do want to work in it tomorrow. I won't be streaming. But I want it done for November. I should have started on... Well, I did start on it. I was listening to see if anybody was at the door. Ah, it is chewy, that candy. Mmm. My teeth good tonight. Mary, you're eating the kids' candy. Shame on you. Yeah, but they had first dibs. <laughs> All right, put this in there. I don't think it'll hold it, but maybe a little. Sitting in this chair can really... Man, my back is getting stiff. Well, I'm happy that those pages are flipping nice. So I'll be able to work in this very easy. This is going to work for me. And even if it's a little wonky, 
I, I think the wonkiness will be kind of be taken care of once I bind the front cover on and it's still not tied tight. The pages aren't tied tight together yet. And some of these pages are just like this is, I think this is wax paper, um, dollar store brand or parchment paper. It's just scrap stuff that I had around that I didn't want to throw away. And oh my goodness, I'll have to do my 2017 journal this way. I had it out today. Let me tell you, that was done on 12 by 12 paper, and it has to be 9 inches thick. It's really high. If it's not a 9, it's 12 inches thick. It's, it's really a huge journal. But it's all done on one sheet, at one page at a time, and I never can figure out a good way to bind it. And this is a good way. So, I won't be doing it all in one night, but I think I'll be binding that journal like this. I really do like this now. Hi, Lisa. Not my favorite candy, but my favorite flavor of Tootsie Roll. Chocolate? What did she say? Vanilla Tootsie Rolls are your... Well, this one is... I think it's kind of a lemony flavor Tootsie Roll. I've never had the fruity Tootsie Rolls. I don't buy Tootsie Rolls. Oh, hold on. Hold on. Dear me. <laughs> White garbage sack stuffed as a tail as she walked away. <laughs> I like your tail. Your tail's cute. Now she had to be, she had to be seventh or eighth grader. I said, take some more. It's getting late. I need to get rid of it. <laughs> some of this is getting pretty close to the edge. But even if it, even if it tears, I'll just use tape to want, um, let's eat this Twix bar. I'm just going to eat my trick or treat candy right in front of you guys. I would say I got maybe about a fourth of the candy dish left. I thought I was going to have to refill it, but no. All right. What's next? Book cover. Book cover. Myths or flesh and blood, timeless questions, mysteries of the millennium. I'm going to put it like this, so... I think this is the top of the journal, and when you open it up, I want to be able to read it. If I put it like this, it would be upside down. Did I hear somebody knock? I think I heard somebody. Yummy, yummy. Aw. Happy Halloween. Happy Halloween. 
Don't eat all that candy at once. It'll give you a tummy ache. <laughs> Say thank you. Thank you. Bye. Have a good night. You too. Cute kids. Cute kids. How cute were they? <laughs> What's going on in chat? I got sidetracked. Chow it down, Mary. Okay. Lisa says, I ate a Twix bar a few minutes ago. You just didn't see me. <laughs> well, I took a bite out of mine. It's just a little one. I have to watch my sweets. I have to watch my sweets now. I try to be good. Um, we did have an apple pie. That was this week. And I made ice cream to go with it. But... You can't just give up everything. All right, hold on. Let's split that thread. Now, where's the... There. So, Lisa, how's your spinning coming? Or are you weaving tonight? Are you? Sp I thought you were spinning. John said there's a bushfire. Oh, no. Riri says, Lisa, I tried to buy candy. I don't like, but I don't succeed. <laughs> In other words, Riri has not met a piece of candy that she doesn't like. Oh, there's some candy that, you know, um, what is, what's your least favorite kind of candy? I have to think about that one. Um, I don't go for the sweet and sour, the sour stuff. You know, those sour, those sour things. You can only eat a couple of them, <laughs> you know. Um, or the, oh, you know, the kids candy stuff, the Tootsie Roll Pops and stuff like that. If it's got chocolate in it, I'm good, but. Some of that candy is just pure sugar. Kathy says, got enough to share? Kathy says, we're in the booners and don't get trick-or-treaters, but I still buy Halloween candy. <laughs> well, you never know. One of them might knock at your door when you least expect it. And you got to be prepared for those things. I like to see the kids out and about. I like it. I think it's good for the kids to have a little special holiday of their own. Well, Christmas too, but Christmas is a kid's holiday, but you know, the Halloween is all about the kids and dressing up and well, for, for adults too, but it's mostly a kid's. See how off I am there? Man, that's totally off. This, this one is too. So, so much, so far off. I thought that I had, that I didn't punch him. Where's my ball? Oh, I put it away. Yeah, I'm gonna set those aside for a minute. Let's see. This one's better, but this one is. I don't know how that's going to work. We'll see. That candy's so sweet, though. I need to have a sip of pop. Yeah, Kathy, I think that's what I enjoy. I like seeing the kids in their costumes. And, you know, even the, the older kids, they get creative. Like that one girl had a tr trash bag t tail. She made a tail out of a white trash bag. And it, as she walked away, it was wiggling. <laughs> it was so cute to see. 
I like your tail. Cute tail. Daryl Lee licorice is yummy. I do like licorice. I like those Twistlers. I, I, I buy the Twistler licorice. Probably is not very much pure licorice in them. Probably more sugar. But I think I hear some others coming up here. They'll probably be knocking at the door in a minute. Boy, this one's way off. I really do like, I was pleasantly surprised when I flipped these pages. They lay nice and flat. Let's see, I think I'll just repunch these as I go. Here. And it's not going to be perfect, but this is not meant to be a perfect journal. Now, if I was doing my recipe book, I would want to do this a lot neater. My recipe binding was an experiment, too, because I wanted to learn how to do that expandable binding before I did it in my Asian caboodle. Might have to cut that off pretty soon getting pretty wonky at the end. Let's cut it in a point there. Yeah, I think I can work in this one just fine. We'll see during the month of November how, but it seems like the pages are turning nice. She said the computer's messing up. Blessings all. See you tomorrow night. I'll try to get in there. Oh. Um, at our kitchen counter, we have a... You know, it has a island. And we eat our meals on that island. And we have the higher chairs. You know, the stool chairs. And I think my brother switched chairs with me. He gave me, I think he broke his and gave me the broken one. <laughs> I can't prove it. But I asked him, I said, what did you do to my chair? He said, it broke. The bearing in it broke. And you sit in it and it rocks every which way. You're like on an earthquake. So when we go up to his VA appointment, we're going to have to stop and see if we can't get some new stools for our kitchen. They're old. They're old. <laughs> I know I didn't break it. Now, I would have known if it would have done, if it would have broke. Because right? it was really, you go, woo. Look, that's horrible. Let's repunch these. So that's another expense this month that I can't sit on the floor.
But if we have our floors done, we're waiting for the, and we think he might be waiting for our flooring to come in. We're waiting for the guy who's gonna do it to get back to us on it. And he hasn't gotten back to us. My brother paid him half of it and we haven't heard from him. Um, but I think it's just a matter of, I think we will hear from him. He seems like a reliable, they did our roofing for us. They seem a little reliable enough. And uh, so we could get some new chairs to go with the new floors, what I'm getting at. And so far, the walls are unpainted. I keep threatening to paint them myself, but I want to get the yard work done. And I want to get my room done before I take on another project. Otherwise, it'll be like my art. I'll have ten things going at once and none of them done. And I know you should paint the walls before you do the floor, but I don't think it's going to happen that way. No, just have to be careful with the paint. Put lots of protection down. And I'll be, if I do it, I'll be supervised. <laughs> Vanessa, if you're listening out there, I saw your post. The time for art videos are live streams, and we go live, and this is for everybody else too. We go live November 12th. I haven't got a playlist out there yet. I wanted to do that this week, but I got all wrapped up in this cleaning and organizing my room. I made pretty good progress today. I can't wait to show you guys the next. Cuz I it's feeling it's feeling pretty good in there. Oh, I hear some kids. door or something. There's nobody there. Maybe it was a cat. I did see that black stray kitty or a kitty that was black. I thought it disappeared. We had, last year we had this black cat, stray cat roaming our neighborhood. And I didn't see it all summer, but I looked out the window the other day and there it was. It doesn't have a place when, a, when they tore down our garage. And it doesn't have a place where it can run into now because we keep the doors shut and locked. And that old shed that we had out there, there's no way we could shut and lock those doors. <laughs> and that cat would use it for shelter. And then I saw it out there wandering in our backyard the other day, or one like it. Okay, I think I can still use this one. I think I'll put it this way. though. Well, it doesn't matter. We'll put it upside down. I'll be painting over this and stamping over them. And this is just using up my scrap papers. We'll see how it works. We will see how it works. But I liked when we did a flip of it a few minutes ago. I liked what was happening. All right, where are you guys at? Uh, Kathy says, 
Yes, if you're ordering Christmas presents online, better get your order in soon if you want to get it by Christmas. That's good advice. Good advice. I have a feeling Christmas mailing season is going to be... You know, they get us coming and going, don't they? They get us coming and going. If they don't get us staying at home, now they've got to mess with the mail. Can't they just leave us alone for one year and let us enjoy Christmas? We are. You can enjoy Christmas with no presents. <laughs> yeah. We don't. Uh, we don't buy a lot of gifts here. And if, uh, if well, my my grandniece, but my brother and I usually give her money, and she can go get what she wants. Uh, her parents buy gifts for her, though. Now, this has to be moved up. And, uh... But as far as exchanging gifts, we really don't do much in that line. We're old. We're too old for that gift-giving stuff. It's, it's nice. Every now and then, I'll... I'll get something for my brother. I got him a chainsaw. I bought him a hedge trimmer and a ch chainsaw. The hedge trimmer does not cut really thick thick wood. And his chainsaw broke on him, so whoops, that tore right through. I'm gonna I'm gonna mend that. So when I got that insurance money, I bought it. I said, well, you know, my brother's awfully good to me, letting me stay here and everything. So I said, I'll just, I'll get you a chainsaw. And he said, he said, I can buy it. And I said, no, this will be my way of to, to say thank you and, you know, let him know I appreciate having a roof over my head. So every now and then I'll... I'll do something. He needs some new pillows. I'm thinking about getting him some new pillows. He's awfully hard on that stuff. All right. Kathy says, years ago, my hubby was a longshore man. Was sure different then. I'll bet it was, Kathy. I'll bet it was. <sighs> yeah, these are all. This is, uh, I put this in here because we were doing that one tone. But it's all wonky. It's all wonky. I think I'm going to have to mend that. I wasn't paying attention when I punched these. Did I do that online? I don't even remember. I know I put the tape together online. But boy, I'll tell you, these holes are way off. I should be getting pretty close to the end. How many do I have left? One, two... Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. I don't think I've made any progress. <laughs> I must have counted wrong. I'm not adding more to it. I would like to get it done tonight, though, because I do, I don't want to be binding my journal. I like to have my, my, if I'm doing a monthly journal, I like to have it done when the month starts. I don't like still binding a journal at the, fir the first week of the month. Now, oh, come on. That tape is getting wonky in there. Cut that whole thing off.
I might have to tie off this thread and start a new one pretty soon here. Yeah, when something like this happens with our supply chain, it, it makes you realize, it makes you realize what the product goes through to get to you. You know, we go to the post office and pick it up. Well, that's the end of the journey. Of course, if you do tracking, you can see where it's, where it's gone, but... We're very fortunate, I think, in our country, even with all the even with all the issues that we've had, we're pretty blessed. Uh, we have nothing to complain about. Well, there's things to complain about, but when you stop and consider, When you stop and consider, we don't have it all that bad. And I was very pleased with how nice these pages flipped when I did that a few minutes ago. These pages are flipping real nice. I was afraid I wasn't going to be able to work in it. But next time I do something like this, I'm going to be doubly sure that my, my holes are punched in there nice. My, my, the punches in these borders are all wonky. I, I thought I counted 32 pages, but I feel like I've done 132 that I'm sitting at this TV tray and boy my back is starting to complain. I wouldn't want to have to sit like this for eight hours a day. I wanted to sit out here by the front door so I could hear the trick-or-treaters coming. And it's after nine. I should probably get up and turn out the light. We'll leave it for a little while longer because I'm busy here. I got it twisted. What did you do, Mary? There. I haven't eaten my snicker bar yet. It's sitting there going, eat me, eat me, eat me. It's yummy. I'm chocolate and nuts. <laughs> I had a snicker bar, a Twix bar, and a fruity Tootsie Roll. Kathy says, okay, I gotta run. Bye, Kathy, have a good evening. She says, I got, I get started saying more than is wanted in craft chat. Oh, Kathy, no, you don't. Take care, Kathy. Thanks for popping in. Happy Halloween. Have a good, have a good week next week. Riri says, I have a friend originally from Butte, Montana. She told me restaurants are closing because they can't get wait staff. At two fifty an hour plus tips, reality please, that waitress went to work at home. Well yeah. Two fifty an hour. I mean that was minimum wage fifteen, twenty, thirty, forty years ago. Um I don't know. Uh, I don't know what to say.
I think that because the workers can get more, can get other work, you know, when you stop to consider if they can get paid more someplace else, of course, they'd be, they should go do something else, you know. Especially a lot of waitresses and waiters, well, it depends on their age and their situation, but, you know, a lot of them are working their way through school, and what did I do here? I messed up. Yeah, it goes through here. I end up saying more than I should too, Kathy, so don't ever worry about that. Yeah. Sometimes, sometimes life is just weird. This one's getting pretty short, this thread is. I'm thinking I should probably tie these off. Where did it go? And I think I can just do a blind knot on these. and loop these two together. I don't know if I can or not. We'll keep going. This one's awfully short. We'll play with that one when I get there. <sighs> yep, I'm having to punch holes in all of these again. says it always has amazed me what wait staff gets paid and they work hard waitressing has a much lower minimum wage natu nationally yeah well you know a lot of waitress and waitresses and that are you know especially in the larger towns are working their way through school it's not a full-time job. Some of them is full-time um, lifetime job, but a lot of waitresses and wait waiters, it's not anything they're going to do for the very rest of their life. Where does that go to? Right here. And and the restaurant industry's been hit hard by the virus thing. People are just starting to get back into going out. Where's my... It's not an easy life. I'm going to see if I can't add some more string. I don't want to get caught short here. Whoops, where did it go? It's right here. So, I'm going to try it. I'm going to try just tying on. I need to, I need to get some here. I won't need quite as much. I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, nine pages, and then my top page, which is this, and then the cover. Considering I've done all of those, I think it's looking pretty good there. And you know, you got to consider these are thin pages, too. 
And this is, I've got plenty of string here yet. So let me pull out maybe about a yard. The oh, yard's going to be plenty. I'm going to snip it off. And let's do that three times. Make it the same length. And you can't see what I'm doing because I'm off to the side here. I think I'm going to get up and turn off the light. I think it's getting late. I think we've seen our last trick-or-treater. The bowl is just about empty. The last couple that came, I said, take a handful. It's getting late. Go share it with your friends. Oops. Okay, there's three doubled. I'm going to get up and turn off the light. Happy Halloween, world. Happy Halloween. It's pretty really dark out there. And our door... pretty good. Our door has been shutting pretty good. I slammed it a couple times. But I, I slammed it to see if I could get it open again. I'm only going to stay online until 10 o'clock. But hopefully I can get this done in the next hour. All right, let's see. I think what I can do is tie these two together. And let's just try one here. I want to tie it in here. And I might just let this one hang too until I get done. But I think I can just tie it. Maybe I should loop it in there. Put it through the loop here. Get in there. Like that. And tie these two together here a couple times. And I could use these as, this is the end of it here where I have the tape. I can use that as a little, hang little journal charms off of it. And this is the end of the one that I just added, which is this one right here. Oops. Well... I don't think it's going to matter. I wanted the open ends. I wanted, I got the looped in here. I wanted the open ends. Oh, well. Oh, well. I goofed again. I'm not going to untie it. I'm going to put some tape around it. like a shoelace. I have to get it up to my nose. Your mini comp books? I, um, the, the tiny ones, I, I, um, they were saying those 
half composition books were on on sold by Walmart, but I never did see any at our Walmart. I watched for them. If they were there, they got snatched up real fast. Um, so I did cut one in half. It's still in there waiting to be used up. Okay, here's my new thread here on this one. And I got enough to finish out the journal, I think. So here's the end of this one that's already been tied, and I need a thread. Uh, let me get one out. And. No, I did that right. I want the loop in at the end, I think. I want the, wanted the open end through the needle, so this is right. I'm, I'm thinking here. So I'm going to go between these two as if I had gone through it, and then I'm just going to tie these together. Pull that through a little. Tie these two together here. It might be a little loose, but I think it will work out okay. All right, so I'm just going to tuck these under too. And this one has a little bit more of a knot on there that I'm caring for. I might have to... I might have to thread this through. I'm gonna put some tape on the end of it. This has got, this is too much thread. The knot's up too high. So I'm gonna pull it through again. It's not that much longer. Oops. And I've only got 10 pages left. I'd like to get this done tonight. I'm only going to be online till 10. I think. Depends on where I am at 10 o'clock. If I'm real close to be done, being done, I might finish it out. All right, let's pull this back through. Boy, I messed that up. No, I'm not sure that's going to stay for me. I'll pull this back through this again. through this one over here. We'll just go through this. This one's a little wonky. Yeah, it's good enough though. And then these two go underneath. That one's not the best, but it'll hold it. It'll hold. 
to the end. Put this one underneath. Should tape them down. Okay. One more. Am I losing you all? No, I've still got 32 people in here. Wow. I'm surprised. Thank you guys for hanging with me. Riri says, boy, I'm blabby tonight. That's okay, Riri. You be blabby. I'm just not keeping up with you. Art is our breakaway gift from above. We are among the fortunate. Yes, we are, Riri. Riri's working in her mini book. She's gluing away. And I would say, Riri, go for it. And if you want to be chatty tonight, I have nights where I feel like I dominate Rosemary's streams some nights. I bet they're probably ready for me to leave. So I understand, Riri, but you're sure welcome to chat in here. Let's see what else is going on. The half ones are nifty too. I'm talking about composition books. Lori said, I cut one in half, but it didn't go well. I cut one in half too. And you have to kind of take it slow when you do that. It's really hard to cut the where the cloth binding is. The pages cut okay, but you get off to that where the binding is, and that will that will throw you. All right. So my shoelace looks better here. Now, I want to go through as if I was going to tie it. As if I was same as I always do. Get in there. Well, yeah. And Riri, I want to thank you again for paying for my album class, my musical album class. That was so nice of you to do that. I'm going to pull it through here. And is it open there? No, this is the loop in. So I'm going to let it be tie on to the loop in, and then I'm going to tie these two together. I think that'll work a lot better. I messed up this other one and so now I have added links to all three of these streams strings all right now let's continue on here these didn't get punched good where's my all oh, I put it back in there These didn't get punched good at all. I'm going to punch them again. I can't even see the hole for that one, right? And the only reason I'm saving this is because it's all about art. I cut out the... I punched out... It, it had circles. The art was in circles there, and I punched them out. But I like this because this is talking all about woven painted paintings, tapestries. And this side, it's all about with devils, the medieval universe, a new support canvas. So this book was all about art. I have to laugh about that devil's one because it's Halloween. I didn't see any devils come to my door tonight. But the Grim Reaper was here. 
a great big red monster and a Tyrannosaurus Rex. They were bad creatures. I don't know how they even walked in those costumes. Well, the one, the big monster didn't walk very well. The dad had to help either him or her, I don't know, who was under it. All right, I'm going to tie this, though. It seems like it needs a little extra tight tie in there. Okay, now we'll put that back under. I might have to do that on all of these. Oops. Did I punch those off? <laughs> Doesn't matter. However, however, I should punch them as I go. And you have to come through the center. And yeah, I think I'm going to be able to work in this just fine. I hope. I think I'm going to have to tie this one to it, too. Seems like it needs a little extra help there. Tuck that back under. How's this? This one's okay. Okay. Onward. Hi, Teresa. Teresa says... I never found any of the half ones here, Riri. They're talking about half composition books. Yeah, I didn't find them either, Teresa. They must have been available in certain parts of the country. I'm going to do this one at a time. Yeah, that's tape wasn't on there very good. It's on my hand. dropped it. I didn't do a super job of taping this. These things didn't do a super job of paint of punching them either boy that's just not working
harder to get them through the holes than to figure out how to bind them. Getting them through the holes here is... And I was thinking of taking them shoelace style, but I don't do such a good job of that. This can get kind of tiresome if you do a big journal. I thought I only had 30 pages, but I feel like I've done 800. <laughs> That's because my I'm having to almost re-punch every page. Well, that was a good Halloween night. I think we had enough trick-or-treaters. I enjoyed it. I got leftover candy, but it'll get eaten. My brother will say, you bought too much. You bought too much. Yeah, I did, but I, w I didn't want to be caught without it, not having enough either. There we go. Now we're sailing. Got a space age one here. I think I can bind that one without having to repunch. if I don't pull too tight on it. Whoops. I lost it. Come on, open up. Now, where's my thread? There we go. Well, got twisted in here. This one goes on the underneath. Out of my way. This can be very time consuming. But I think I'm going to be happy with it once it's done. I think I'm going to be happy. We'll have a, a journal to work in on November. Now I won't be working stamping on every one of these pages. But I do want to do as many stamp days as I can. Different sizes of paper. This is just junk paper that I had left over. Um,
using it up. I don't know whatever is going to happen to these journals after I leave this world. Probably eventually, if they don't get burnt, someday they'll rot away. Someday they'll decay. It'll all be, all my hard work will be for nothing. <laughs> well, not necessarily because one thing about it is you do this work to enjoy it. And it's the process of doing it and the experience of, of doing the art. So that part is not for nothing. I've got to be careful that I don't pull too tight on that. That one's pretty close to the edge. I'm surprised my light over here has stayed with me. It fell off of the hook over there, though. I move things around when I reach for that awl. I wouldn't want to stream like this all the time. My back is starting to say, move around, Mary, move around. I'm getting stiff. I got a bunch of short pages. Let's do a, a big page in here. And I think I'm going to have to, that one's okay, but this one needs to come up a little. And maybe this one too. Now this is only 30 some pages. It seems like it's a hundred, but it's only 30 pages. I counted them out. I think I had 32 pages, 30 or 32, something like that. What time is it? 9.36, I might get done by 10. I might get this done by 10. I was going to stop, but then I double thought it and I thought, well, I want to be able to work in this journal. So let's just keep on going. I just got a few pages left. One, two, three, four, five, six in the cover page that and then the cover I, the cover page is my first page and I call it the cover page because I'm keeping it at the top but see you have to bind each one of these so I'm doing well let's just say 32 pages times three holes and I had to stop and make new string so, 32 times 3 is what, 96, 96, uh, now I'm going to have to mend that, 96 ties in there. Uh oh, something fell. I don't know what fell. I'll punch these. That one's okay. Ninety-six times of going through and looping it through. At least ninety-six plus the front and back cover, and I had to cut the covers. That's a lot. You can take up one whole stream.
I hope I got enough here to do six more pages. I think I do. Oh. Whoops. I didn't get in there. this time. Look, my punches are way off of the edge there. Let's turn it this way. Luckily, I'm not trying to be perfect at doing this. But this, this is a good way to learn the process, at least, of, of how to do this binding. It's just to use scrap papers and go at it. I forgot that I had to do double threads. This is a good way to learn it. Oops, what happened here? It went in the... Get through the center. I, I think this might be a little boring to watch. Let's see, is Allie Kay here? Hi, Allie Kay. She said, well, I probably wouldn't swallow it, but if I needed a laxative, I'd know what to do. Mary, a lot of libraries have activities, special collection departments. They have collections of scrapbooks and handmade books. The University of Arizona has such a collection. I don't know if we have anything like that in Nebraska. Um, what, what's going on here? This one's sticking. What's going on here? Did I already do that one? I guess I did, and it, I went through the, I'm going to redo this last one here. I went through the bottom hole instead of the top one. what I did here. I'm not sure what I did on this page. On this one. It seems like it's it's taped together here. My tape is holding it. Taped itself together in there. I don't want to cut the thread, I want to cut the tape. That's weird. Yeah. Now, let's do this again. I want to go through this one. There we go. Next one, I'll, I'll have these punched out real nice. <laughs> I'll be more careful about what I'm doing. I just, you know, I just punched them because they were, I knew they were scrap pages, and I really didn't care. And you can see what happens when you don't care. And you get all off, and you have to redo it. I'm getting there. 
these are way too close to the edge. This one's okay. This one's off. And this one is way down to the bottom. On a journal like this, that I'm just playing in anyway, it doesn't matter, but this is not pretty binding pages. I like the process though. I like the I like the way that the pages are being held together. But you need to go slower and measure more and do a nicer job if you want a nicer page. Page of binding. Mine's pretty wonky. But so be it. It can be wonky. I don't think this, maybe it'll hold it. Lori says, Pink Girlie says, I still like the idea of putting my name in one of her journals. Mina says, 500 handmade books. That sounds like an amazing book, Riri. Riri says, I'm going to look at the New York Public Library and see if they have anything online. Allie Kay says, I've heard of some people drinking apple cider vinegar as part of their health regime, like a spoonful every day or something like that. I've heard of that too, apple cider vinegar. Well, you stop and think about apple cider vinegar is what we, we use in salad dressings and pickles and stuff like that. If you, if you, uh, I don't think it's harmful. <laughs> Might have a strange taste every now and then. Now, I think I'll flip it like this. That one's okay. This one's, I think these are okay here. I'm gonna go ahead and bind them. I'm getting there. We're getting there. I think I would rather drink uh, apple cider vinegar if you, you know, if you dilute it than just plain vinegar. <laughs> this one's getting pretty short. I've got a few pages left here. I'm hoping that I'll have enough. I should. But this one seems shorter to me than the other. Well, it's about it's about two inches shorter. I must have tied it. Well, that's the one that I messed up inside there. I had to retie it. That's why it's shorter. I think I'll have enough. These, these are the hanging threads here of retying. Okay. See, like. <laughs> I don't care. I cut out a whack out of that one. I think the, this one might need a little help. The otherwise, I think I can use it. My lighting isn't the best here.
Now I do think that this journal, whoops, that one tore, not the men, but um, this journal is thicker at the spine than it is on the inside, which I kind of like that because I probably won't in November, but if I have happy mail or bulky things, you know, it will accommodate bulk. So you might be seeing me trying this again maybe next year in a journal, and I'll be a lot more careful about how I do the binding, but I like the idea that the spine is, is kind of an expandable spine in a way. No, I didn't get that. and I'll be done. Yeah, I don't know. I'll poke it the hole in there, but I don't know. This is six of one, half a dozen of another. This one might need it. getting there. Now I will probably, not tonight, but I will probably come and put a wrap around on this. A paper one. Maybe with a big sheet of cardstock or something. Because I like wraparounds on my journals. I'm getting the process. I think I'm going to be happy with this when it's done. I hope. Here's another, just a page. I like these pages where they put poetry. If we had no winter, the spring would not be so pleasant. If we did not sometimes taste adversity, prosperity would not be so welcome. Anne Bradstreet, Meditation, Divine and Moral. That was from 20. January the 2021 Real Simple Magazine. Yep. If we didn't make any mistakes making our journals, we wouldn't know what a really nice journal was. <laughs> if we didn't have Halloween, uh, well, I don't know. I don't have any saying for that. If there's no Halloween, we wouldn't have any candy. Extra candy on November 1st. There'd be no tummy aches if there were no Halloween. Yeah. I told one little kid, I said, don't eat that all tonight. You'll get a tummy ache. Little one. He just looked at me, little blondie. It was so cute. Don't eat all that candy tonight. You'll get a tummy ache. His mommy was with him. She's a pretty lady. She was a pretty lady. And this middle one, I don't know. It's going to be... Cutting it short. 
I'm going to try to get all my pages on. I've got three left. I think I can do it. Three pages left. Uh-oh. There we go. You guys are probably going, thank God she's only got three pages left. And then the cover. And the cover. I could really skip this page. It's just a one I tore out of a magazine. I was going to use those flower pots for something or other. I think I'll skip it. It's not that great. Let's just put in a blank page. And these two are okay, but it looks like I might need to repunch that one. All right, where did it go? Where is it? Here? That's not it. Here. There that's pretty close to the end. I'm going to repunch these. Pretty sloppy binding on Mary's part. But still, it's holding together. We'll see how it, how it works to use it all month. One more page and then the cover. This is the top. I call this the top page. I kind of like that one. And let's see. I think I'm going to have to fix those because I used those to punch holes. So I'm going to I'm going to put tape over these and punch them out again with my awl. This is my one that I used to punch all the other pages. But I obviously did not do that great of a job. One more. What time is it? Oh, it's 10 o'clock, almost 10 o'clock. I'll get this done just a little bit after 10. But I'll have it all. I'm glad I stuck with it now. I'm glad I stuck with it because I'll have it to work in. And sometimes you just gotta keep at it. And you're always happy in the end. One more. There we go. 
Now the cover. And what did I do with it? It's over here, I think. On the floor someplace. No. Over here. Someplace. <gasps> what did she do with the cover? Oh. This chair is not fun to sit on. Here it is. This is the cover. Now, when you do this, I gotta repunch the holes. Because I can't see where I punched them. Right here. And I'm punching them off camera here because it's going through several thicknesses. There. Right in there. So here, here, and right in here. And it may be a little off. That's okay. I don't mind for this journal. All right. Now, I remember Becky saying that when you do this one, you come through, but you don't go, you go on either side of the thread. Get in there. So when you come through, and I'm going to have to take this tape off. You pull it through this way, but then you, let me cut the tape end off here. You come on either side of it, if I remember right. I remember going on either side, and then what do you do? Go back in and under. That's what I'm going to do, and then I'll tie it off. I don't know if that's the proper thing to do. Go back in this way, tie it. And under this one, in that way, whoops, it got caught on the end. That way, and tie it off there. And I like hanging threads, so I'm just going to let this hang. I'm going to tie it a couple of times. I'm liking that. Well, let's see if I can do the center one. I have to find the... I have to clip the tape end off here. My handmade shoelace. It's right here. Probably poke it in there. Probably should have cut it after I put uh, see if I can get it in there. Pull it through. I think you pull it through the center, but then you tie it off on here, hold it. Let me get this opened up come through the center well let's clip this and then I think you come around and this would help with the needle I think and pull it in there Come on, get a hold of it. 
in and under that way this one through around and under I think that's how I'm doing it I don't know if that's what Becky did like that like that and then tie a knot like that tie a, tie a couple knots all right last one and I'm going to leave the tape on this until I get get it through the hole there wherever it's at right here where did my string go Yeah, it's wonky. There we go. Come through the center. Rip it, bitty, boop, boop. that and now I've got to take cut my tape end off and come around whoops I didn't get it all off where is it now I pulled it too tight to get it in there pull it tight later come under I don't this is part I'm not sure about it's working for me but I'm not sure if that's what Becky did come under that way pull this one and go up and under this thread and then pull these two tight and tie it off and there we go now let's see what I have I got a lot of threads on the ends but I don't care I like that let's cut some of the loops Let's cut them a little shorter. Well, I might tie some stuff on there, though. I got a lot of threads because I, I uh, expanded my... There. I expanded my thread, but it's a little, it's a little loose. But that's okay. Let's get my scissors out of the way. And I used all my pages but this catalog one. So let's see how this flips. I think when I flipped it halfway through, I was real happy with it. Let me eat my snicker bar. I haven't had my snicker bar yet. Yummy. Mmm. All right, let's flip, let's flip. See, I can, well, it's, it's a little thick here at the front working here but I can still work on this I'm liking how flat it lays this lays real flat I can work on this if I stamp on this side I might put a book or something a block under there and you see this paper this paper is scrap paper paper I've worked on before this is a pattern sheet this is flipping nice. This will be nice to work in. This is this is an open out page here, a fold out page. 
Some are short, some are long, some fold in. This is flipping nice. I do like this. I'm surprised that it turned out. See, as I work to, more toward the middle, middle, I have more bulk in here. Now, I probably should have used five strings. I would have been here all night with two more of these. <laughs> I prob it probably should have used two, five threads instead of three, five holes. It wouldn't be as wonky as it is, but it's, it, as you work in it, it's not wonky. So it's flipping nice. I'm pretty happy with it. It'll be, it'll be easy to work in. There's a, a few of the pages are, are kind of the tape, tapes them together. But it's, I'm pretty happy with it. Now, if I would have used all cardstock or watercolor paper, it would have been much nicer. But I have all sorts of junky papers in here. And this is a report cover here. I didn't count my pages. I'm just flipping. This was a pa paper that I had at the bottom of my rusty, my rusty stuff. That's rust paper. That's ink paper, walnut ink. This is just scratch off paper. And this was a part of an ATC page. I did a stencil stencil. This is pattern paper. And this is the last page that I actually did something on. And this is the back cover. The back cover, I can take these off now. The back cover I will be redoing. I really wanted the ticking on on the here let me take this off here. I really wanted the I put it on backwards. I wanted this on the outside. Oops. I'm not gonna go back and change it. Now the only thing I think I need to adjust it's a little of course I got all the threads. It's a little wonky, you know. Look, I can I can spread it out, but that's not a, entirely a bad thing. Um, when I get done, I might do a wraparound page, but look, see the spine, the spine is much thicker than the papers. So if I put stuff in here, you know, it'll build it out a little bit more. But, um, maybe it was the way I did these in here. I don't know. It's a little, uh, I don't really like this. But, I do like how it opens up and, and works. So, maybe it just needs that for the, the play in there. Now, I think I will be coming in on this last page here. And probably, well, do my wrap around. I'll do it on here instead of on the inside. I usually put my wrap around on the inside. I'll put it here and let it wrap around all the way into here. And that might straighten up this wonkiness of the spine a little. But I'm happy with it. I'm very happy with it. That wasn't all I was going to do tonight. I'm not going to, I'm going to sign off here. I was going to do some Halloween clusters. I've got Halloween stuff here. But it's way past time for me to call it a night. So, let's get Penelope out here. And she said, Mary, what are you doing? You got me all threaded up. Yeah, I had extra threads, didn't I? I'm going to put her out here for the... She's got an owl bead thing in there for the thumbnail. We'll take we'll take this off. So that's about all I got done tonight, other than answering the door. I enjoyed the trick or treaters, though. They're more than welcome to come in Halloween and do the trick or treating at our house. So let me come out and say good night to you guys. 
I'll put this like this for my thumbnail. Oh, I don't want that light shining on there. Let's pull it over a little. Did that help? Did I move it over enough? Yeah. Well, now, now it shines in there. I might have to turn off my bright light. Let's see what it looks. It's going to go dark. Hold on. Where's the button on this? Uh, yeah, it's too dark. I'll have to take it in on the. I'll have to take it in the living room and do my thumbnail. See, I got this little work light at Menards, and this is real bright when you turn it on. It runs off of four batteries, but it's real bright. And it's even bright. Whoops, I got the flicker on. Come on. There. It. Whoops. The batteries, I think, are getting low on it. I left it on once. But I, I do like this light a lot. And I'll hang it up above my table in the other room. But I'm getting used to using it. And I forgot to turn it off one night. And it was on all night. So I think I ran the batteries down. So let me come out and say good night to you all. Forget how dark this is. <laughs> I I turned this light off. Let's see. Let's, let's. I don't know if I can put it back up here now or not. Hold on. Now oh, I got the flicker. No, it's going to flicker on me. Playing with my light. It's not, it's not going to, it's going to flicker. We'll just leave it like that. Ouch. All right. Julie says, good night, everybody. What did Valerie say? Oh, there's Lynette. Hi, Lynette. Happy Halloween, Lynette. She says, I'll have to back up and watch the replay oh let me tell you it's not an exciting video tonight all i did was bind my journal and i'm happy with it but i'm not happy with the wonkiness but that might have to do with several things i think i did it right but these are thin papers and i i put masking tape on it to help it to not you know if i would have had papers all the same size and weight it might have been a lot nicer um, also, um, I have over 30 pages here, so if I would have stopped at 10, it may not have been so wonky. You know what's bad when you enable yourself, <laughs> Lori says. <laughs> Fireworks are going on everywhere right now, Valerie says. Riri says, oh no, I just enabled my own flipping self. I was looking up 500 handmade books to your guy to get some good pricing and found the art of the fold for books. I bought it on Amazon. <laughs> oh, Riri, you funny lady. She says, night, night, no. Good night, Riri. Teresa says, bye, Mary. Good night. Good night, ladies. Gotta go. Mina says, some though were scrapbooks documenting the times, ticket stubs, articles cut out, doodles inked on scraps of papers and the like. They are fascinating. I think Mina was talking about books at the library, um, collecting handmade journals. All right, everybody. I know some of you have already signed off. Have a really great week. Don't forget, Dee Dee comes on tomorrow at 8.30 Eastern. And Janet Young comes on sometime around noon or 1 o'clock Eastern. Uh, in the afternoon, I think I've been seeing Shauna, one of those gals come on, I call them the Ustream gals, they come on, and then around 6 o'clock, Lisa, my eclectic life comes on. So have a great week, have a great day tomorrow, and make it a memory. Bye everybody.